Sarah Jacobson, Marketing Art Fleet. So this year I'm going to do a year of videos on my Artsy Fartsy Life channel. This is my crafting channel, art channel, um, organizing my craft room. So I wanted to take you behind the scenes to start, actually me behind the scenes to start so I can remember when the year is up. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a video a day every business day of the year. So Monday through Friday, most weeks, if there's a holiday, if it's Christmas or Halloween, or <laughs> I guess Halloween is my kind of holiday, but Thanksgiving, New Year's Day. So this is on January 3rd, 2021. The nice thing is that we can do last month in our analytics, but in this little screen capture, I'm using TubeBuddy, which is a very cool program that we're going to dive into how to do this. But this is my most popular video. I put it in my trailer and I have, let's see, how many uploads do I have? Can we tell? I have to say, I have to say that the analytics are to me, a little bit something to be desired as far as being able to find things easily. Um, right now I have 334 subscribers. We will find out how many videos I have. Um, but I've made quite a few and I want to show you kind of the progression of them. Um, because this is a new channel, right? Um, this is little time management thing, an Ipsy box review when I was getting dressed, self-care tips for women, and uh, self-confidence. So you can see those are all two years ago. So I think what I had there, I had them there because I didn't have very many videos before this. But I think I will take those off. Okay, so if we have four in a row, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, forty-four. So I have forty-four videos. Okay. Um, of the you know craft video type. So that is going to be. We're starting with forty-four videos, three hundred and thirty-four subscribers, and we had. And let's do this instead of this. Let's do last month. So we need to go 6, 12, 1, 20, to 12, 31, 20. Okay. All right, apply. So we had 4,867 views. Um, our watch time was 452 hours. And I got 60 subscribers last month. And a little bit of this is because one of my videos is really taking off. The before and after of my craft room cleaning, craft room makeover, is doing very well. Um, which is kind of sad, right? That makes such a mess that it's doing well. So here's monetization. So I will get monetized this year. Um, but if you watch on YouTube, you can see... Um, I have 334 subscribers. I needed 1,000. I have uh, 1,055 public watch hours. 4,000 are needed. So I'm about a third of the way here and about a quarter of the way there. I feel like getting watch hours is easier than getting subscribers for me. They do this, you know, governor on this. Because if you had a million Instagram followers and you told them all to join your YouTube channel, you could get a thousand subscribers really fast, but you would have trouble with watch hours. I have a really easy time getting watch hours, but I have trouble sometimes getting subscribers. So this, this combination is a really good way, you know, to make sure that people are actual users. And here's my reach. This is interesting to start. So the browse feature brings 50, 6% of my views right now, suggested videos 23, search external is me, and channel pages. So we want to keep an eye on that. And then also this graph is cool. So I had 66,000 impressions, 67% from YouTube recommending my content, 4.5 click-through rate, which um, they said to shoot between 4 and 10, so I'm at the bottom of that. And the click-through rate is how your thumbnails look so that people see your thumbnails, see your title, and then click through to it. So that's something I can work on. 
views from impressions, 3,000, and then the watch time uh, is there. External source, Artsy Fartsy Life, is sending the most traffic. That makes sense. Um, Google search is only 4%. I think I can get that up because I'm an ex SEO person. My playlists, those are my playlists. And somebody else put one, craft room tours, stamps, and scrapbooks. How fun. All right, so I am ranking for craft room organization, craft room makeover, craft room tour, Ikea craft room, and craft room. So those are, uh, craft room is obviously going to, is something that uh, YouTube thinks my channel is about, right? So how does this work that you are going to incorporate what YouTube already thinks and still get to do what you want? So say... I have a new organizer for my inks. Instead of saying ink organizer, I would say craft room organize, organization, right? Craft room organization at the end of it or the beginning, and then say how to store your inks. So you can reinforce what YouTube already thinks about you. And then last but not least is my best traffic source is the suggested videos, which is... um this one is sending 8% of my traffic because people watch this video. This is really cool. Um, extreme IKEA hack DIY apothecary. So extreme IKEA. All right, looked it up. So this lady is DIY Diane. I love her because she's sending me traffic. So let's pause this. And uh, this is TubeBuddy that shows you all this stuff that you can't normally see. This is Diane. She got 160,000 views on this and 782 articles. She's obviously been working a very long time. Let's go see DIY Diane. And she is going down, but this is, I bet you she had a lot of Christmas stuff. So subscribers last 30 days. Yeah, she got 5,000 subscribers. I got 64. So DIY Diane is killing it. I'm very proud of her. Okay, so that is where that's coming from. I can check all of those and see um, kind of what kind of videos they're making. Maybe it's something I could do something similar to and try to get another one to be there. So I'm going to be teaching you all of the stuff that I know from being, I already have a monetized channel. If we switch over to my Marketing Artfully, I have monetized Marketing Artfully with, for years. I haven't done very much with it, but I make, let's see, that's not a way to see how you make revenue. Uh, analytics, where is it? I want to show you this, because I'm going to make more videos on here. Maybe I'll make more revenue. So let's do, oh, let's do last year, 2020. So in 2020, I made about $800. So that is going to be pretty easy to beat, I have a feeling, as I make more more views on this channel. But the, the video a year, a video a day, is on Artsy Fartsy Life. I'm going to probably make more videos because I'm doing more marketing and I'm more interested in stuff. But I do want you to know that I do know how to get a, monet a channel monetized. It's not like I'm just brand new and I don't know what I'm doing. So let's look forward to a year and see what happens. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.